It's 10 o'clock. And the night team is on. Storming in and flooding fast. Severe weather swamping South Beach. That's not all. The day of downpour is creating chaos in downtown Miami. Car after car swamped and stranded. Desperate drivers stalled out and stuck. And we may not be done yet as more rain lights up the radar. We have live night team coverage of the surge of storms. And that's not all. Russian relations in the spotlight, and it is all about the president, his son, and a meeting with a Russian lawyer. Hauled away three wave runners stolen in seconds, and that's not all that these did. It's a night team exclusive. It's summer, but some teachers are stressed, worried about their school's future. We'll tell you why in tonight's 7 News investigation. Hello and welcome, everyone. I'm Belle Nuray. I'm Craig Stevens. The news first at 10 starts right now. This is 7 News at 10. First tonight, blinding rain, lightning, and fierce flooding. It's the first time in a long time that it's been this bad. South Florida swamped, drivers stuck, businesses soaked. I don't think this district was prepared for so much water. From the ground. To the stalled out car here in the middle of the street. People are trying to get by. To the air. We got a guy on a boat going, or a, a little uh, paddle board there going right through the middle of an intersection. To what's next? Just a nasty setup has really turned problematic. We have live 19 coverage of this surge of storms. Hello again, everyone. The torrential trouble coming in fast and furious today. We have Live 19 coverage of the flooding and the aftermath late tonight and storm chances for tomorrow. We're going to begin on hard hit Miami Beach. 7 News reporter Andrew Scheinthal is there for us. Andrew. Well, Craig, it was a huge mess on Miami Beach today. You can see there is still debris in the middle of the roadway because Alton was just filled with water. Tow trucks still going by and the cleanup has just begun. I haven't seen it this bad since April 2009. Fast and furious, the rain pounded Miami Beach, flooding streets in minutes. Everyone's flooded. Everyone on Facebook is saying their garages are flooded. I have a friend who's off Lincoln Road and says there's water in her hallway, water going down her elevator chute. One after another, cars picked up off the street and crews begin to clean up after the storm. Floating before, but I believe not this bad. People stranded with no place to go. In the cars in front of my building, they've got water in them. So it's, it's, it's just a shame. Miami Beach traffic at its worst. Alton Road and 5th underwater. Cars leaving wakes as they brave the storm through one of the busiest intersections on the island. Seven Sky Force above the floods as people try anything they can to navigate the streets. Oh, check this out. We got a guy on a boat going, or a, a little uh, paddle board there going right through the middle of an intersection. This person using a kayak. Seven News viewers taking this video as they took a chance and drove through the flooded roads. The flood stretching through Miami Beach all the way from South Point past 63rd. And this is just a wake up call. If this happens during a rainstorm, I don't want to think about a hurricane or a tropical depression that hits us. And in that video, you saw all those cars parked along the roadways. Chances are a lot of them are filled with water as well. So this cleanup is going to last into tomorrow as well. Live on South Beach, Andrew Scheinthal, 7 News 19. All right, Andrew, the storm's also turning the magic city into the messy city. The night team's Walter Morris live in Miami's Brickell section with more on this. Walter. Well, Belkis, there is some good news. If you take a look around here, the streets, you can see they're starting to dry up. Really, water's going down in the past 30 minutes. But even though we are starting to see these flood waters go away, the cleanup is just getting started. The water was about, like, yay high. Sandbags at the doors, but they were no match for the flood waters that swept parts of Miami's Mary Brickle Village Tuesday. It's been squeegeeing for, like, an hour. Uh, I've been stuck on the fourth floor for like three hours. So I had to call, call out of work. A couple blocks away, two BMWs stalled out in the street at Southwest First Avenue and 9th Street. Many wading through knee deep water, while others depended on the kindness of strangers. So I had to go to work and it was like knee deep. So a pickup truck, some guy picked us up and let us ride on the back. Brickle building manager taking matters into his own hands, bringing out pumps for the second time in months. We have to pump the water down on 8th Street because obviously you can see we have no help. You know what I mean? So we need help. Heavy rains ripped through the county hours earlier, making it impossible to see the city skyline through the clouds. 
Reese thought this game drenched cars stuck in standing water near 9th Street, while cameras caught a lightning strike in Coral Gables. Lightning touching down at the Miami-Dade PD Kendall Station. This diesel tank badly damaged. And back in downtown Miami, the downpour shutting down traffic on 42nd Avenue near 11th Street. The rush hour plus heavy weather delays to get in for the money for the evening. Almost missed happy hour, thinking we're going to get there, and we see all of this. And Relentless rains also causing parking problems. These pictures sent to 7. The garage at the Brickell City Center submerged. And while the cost of cleanup continues, some asking why the city hasn't done more to prevent this problem, they say happens more than it should. I just wonder, me as a taxpayer, where's my money going? Can anybody tell me that? Where's my money going? And of course, while that cleanup continues, no word on how much all of that flood damage will cost. Live in Miami, Walter Moore, 7 News, 19. Well, strangers became saviors today, helping push stranded cars out of harm's way when they were swamped by the floodwaters. A lot of drivers out there left soaked and stuck on some of South Florida's busiest roads. Quite a few businesses wound up flooded, too. Our Live Night team coverage continues now with Jeff Lennox. He's also on Miami Beach with this. Jeff? Yeah, Belkis and Craig here tonight. We have good news and bad news here on Miami Beach. Let's start off with the good news. The water is starting to recede throughout these neighborhoods. When we got here to the corner of Lenox Avenue and 14th Street earlier tonight, about a foot of water was here on the roadway. But as you can see, a lot of that uh, water has started to recede. Drainage is working very good here at this hour. But this is the bad news. Still, a number of cars that are swamped and stranded. This Mercedes right here about to get towed out of the way. And here on the left side of Lincoln, or excuse me, Lenox Avenue, a number of cars are still lined up waiting for a tow. Tell me how busy are you? Uh, we're pretty busy out here, man. Yeah? Pretty busy. Uh, what's the, how much cars did you tow so far? Right now, I got like 15. Tow truck drivers on Miami Beach working overtime. Drivers stranded all over South Beach as the rounds of rain moved in. This, the corner of Lenox Avenue and 14th Street. The car just shut off going through, their, going through, this, going through this puddle and Oh, no, it's, I'm stuck here. I don't really know what to do. Neighbors helping neighbors. It's what we're out here for, and just helping everyone out. It's, it's what Miami Beach does, the locals. Some people not waiting for a tow. Instead, hopping out of their vehicles, like these guys on 5th Street at Elton Road, spotted pushing their car to dry land. Others, like you see here at the corner of Jefferson Avenue and 5th Street, trying to escape the rush of water by driving on to the median. Along Purdy Avenue, Sardinia's restaurant now has an unwelcomed waterfront view. Water on the inside and the outside of this South Beach hotspot. The water came into the restaurant and then it was flooded up to, I think it was flooded up to here. Also on Purdy, the 1821 beauty salon, a soggy wet mess and forced to close early. The owner doing her best to dry out her business. And before we knew it, we had floods all over our salon. It was like a river coming in from the back, from the floor, just running through the front. Another restaurant trying to keep the water at bay Tuesday, Ceviche, along the 1100 block of 16th Street. We've, we've been struggling with the water the whole day. Uh, I've got sandbags out, as you can see, and trying to prevent the water from coming in. Sobe Liquors on South Beach, yet another business not too happy with Mother Nature's wet surprise. But it's, it's the first time in a long time that it's been this bad. And we make one stop across Biscayne Bay in Mary Brickle Village. A man's electric car trapped inside a garage. After a workout at the LA Fitness, he realized he wasn't going anywhere fast. I got here like around 1 o'clock. Uh, went to the gym, did my one hour workout when I came out. I couldn't come out of the parking garage here, so I had to actually turn around on the sidewalk and go right back up. Okay, there you have it right there. A welcome sight to residents here on Miami Beach. This is, uh, again, Lenox Avenue, 14th Street. Storm drains working very well in this part of South Beach. Now, I talked to a tow driver just a few moments ago. He says he'll likely be towing cars out of the area into the early morning hours of Wednesday. We're live on Miami Beach tonight. Jeff Lenox, 7 News 19. Okay, Jeff, well, what a difference a few hours can make. You can see here as we put the radar in motion as the weather began to move in, and then it starts to clear on out of our area here. And so there it goes here in South Florida. So a lot better right now, but what about tomorrow? Meteorologist Brent Cameron is in the Weather Center with what we hope is drier news, Brent. <laughs>